we have a system that is controlled by people who control money. It's a system run by and for money. Now, part of what is truly disturbing about it is when you begin to realize the extent to which a lot of the key players in Wall Street and a lot of our politicians actually fit the psychological profile of a psychopath. I mean, it's, it's stunning following the Wall Street crash. The fact that there has been literally no expression of any key player from Wall Street of regret or apology for having brought down the whole economy. Nor is there any sense of shame or embarrassment about continuing to extract exorbitant bonuses for producing absolutely nothing of value to the rest of the society, but playing games that are patently destructive of the rest of society. Now, the only, the only human beings who are able to act that way consistently are people who are clinically, psychologically, deeply damaged, that represent some of the most damaged people in our society. Um, this is a reality. Now, we can talk about it as corrupt. Yes, it is corrupt, but it's, uh, you know, the system itself is corrupt because it, the, the design of the very system supports that kind of antisocial, psychopathic pursuit of a very narrow self-interest that is ultimately deeply destructive of the long-term interests of the society.